How's it going everybody? My name is Artori Gold, and today I want to do something a little different. I want to talk about the current state of Overwatch and the meta. So I think a lot of people are getting frustrated and angry and they have every right to do so. Myself, I'm personally, I get really angry whenever I see these particular characters being abused on the ladder. And that is, of course, Brig, Doomfist, and Sombra. These are some characters that really just make the game miserable for anybody involved. They have a large amount of CC and stuns. And basically, if any of these characters are in your game, it makes it so you're not able to to really play your character or control your character. Personally, I really don't enjoy having the control of my character taken away from me. Um, I think in some situations it can be all right in the game and it has a place, but if they keep adding more of these characters to the Overwatch game, it's just going to add a lot of frustration for people. I'm noticing a lot of people, especially main tanks, are having a really rough time dealing with this, and I know a lot of them are actually starting to leave the game because they really just can't stand just taking that abuse. Especially someone that's playing like a lot of Reinhardt, they're getting stunned by Brig on the front line. They're getting hacked. They're getting punched around by Doomfist. It's a really bad time to try and play Reinhardt as well as other characters. For example, Zenyatta is one of those characters that's always had a lot of use. He has a lot of pros and he has a lot of power to him, but one of the biggest weaknesses to Zenyatta is that he's very fragile and he's very vulnerable to characters like Genji and Tracer who can take him out unless you get some proper support. But now with the introduction of Doomfist and Sombra, I mean Sombra's been around for a while, but these buffs to Sombra is really what makes her stand out. Doomfist really being abused to the point where he can one-shot a Zenyatta and there's just about nothing you could do to protect Zenyatta. Even if you have an Ana on your team, it's almost impossible to land a sleep dart on the Doomfist when he's coming in at like really far away at extremely high speeds. And then at the same time, a Brig may be able to stun a Doomfist like every once in a while, but you really need to just stand on top of the support who needs the peeling. And if you don't do that, then you're never going to save them, which means that like probably 80% of your gameplay as Brig in that instance is not like being on the front line and you're not being able to melee people. You're just sitting in the back and you're being very safe, you're not really playing the game, you're just waiting for the Doomfist to do something. And when you do that, it's good for the Zenyatta or the Ana or whoever you're protecting, but when you do that, you're also missing out on a lot of ult charge, you're missing out on frontline potential, just overall the potential of your character is being underutilized because you have to sit with somebody else, and your ult charge is really suffering because of it as well. So one of the things that I think is kind of being a trend is every character that is being released as of lately has a lot of CC and is really difficult to kill. So they came out with Sombra, and Sombra was kind of weak at the beginning, and I don't think people were able to utilize her, but ever since she got buffed, she's been just a complete powerhouse. Her hack is almost unstoppable, and they also made it so her hack is just way more effective on certain characters. Um, some characters like Lucio used to not be that affected by Sombra because his passive aura healing was still able to go off, uh, or the speed, depending on what, he couldn't switch the tracks, but he would still have the ability to heal or speed even though he he was hacked. Now he doesn't have that at all, which really hurts him in a large way. Another thing about Sombra is just that her hack is much easier to pull off, it's much quicker, so it's much it's much more difficult to try to interrupt the Sombra hacking than it used to be. And I think with the introduction of Doomfist and Brig especially, it's kind of made the game a lot more CC. Like, a lot more stuns in general are in this game than I think anybody would like. And I think Overwatch in general, when it first came out, was much more of a first-person shooting game. But now that all these characters are coming out, and a lot of them don't even rely on shooting, really. Like, Doomfist relies on using abilities and punching. Brig relies on stunning and using melee attacks. And you have Wrecking Ball, which is kind of an odd duck or odd hamster, I suppose, where he doesn't really rely on his shooting damage either. Same thing with Sombra. She has much more damage potential with her SMG, but I think overall her abilities are what makes the Sombra the most, you know, powerful. So overall, we're seeing this trend where there's less characters relying on actual shooting mechanics and what should be a first-person shooting game, and instead using these kind of crazy... using these crazy abilities and melee attacks and things that 
really just make it miserable for those who are trying to play characters like like Zenyatta specifically are just completely out of the meta and I think they're only useful on certain maps and certain situations and generally it's only because of your defensive ult and it's really difficult to try and play it's just really difficult to try and play a main tank as well I think main tank players have a really rough right now and I think if Overwatch continues this trend where they keep adding these characters with this powerful CC abilities, it's going to make the other characters feel a lot weaker. It just feels like characters that don't really have that many buffs or potential, like Soldier 76 and McCree have been kind of on the weaker side, I think, for a while now. I think they're pretty decent picks at the lower rank, but you'll notice even if you watch like pro games and pros play against each other, a lot of them don't even use McCree or Soldier because they just die way too easily. The only squishy hit scan, the only character that actually uses a gun and is still kind of primarily used right now is Widowmaker on the pro scene, besides Sombra of course, but Widowmaker has that one shot potential which makes her really powerful, but Soldier and McCree don't really have that anymore, and they are much more vulnerable compared to a Doomfist who can just have this crazy rollout from an unexpected angle, um, dive in with his E, slam them, and then uppercut fire maybe like one or two shots if they're not already dead, and then use the punch to escape. Doomfist's strongest ability not only is that he has all this mobility, but also that he's able to get the one-shot potential on most characters, and he's able to just escape every single time. One of the other weird crazy things you can do with Doomfist is that you can also just use his ultimate to relocate. So you could just dive in as Doomfist, go and use all of your abilities, so then once your abilities are on cooldown, instead of waiting for him because you're in a bad spot after getting those kills, you can even just use your ultimate to completely escape or to just buy some time for your cooldowns and then get a kill and then do the same thing over again. And while you're doing this, Doomfist also gains health because every time he does damage with his ability, his passive allows him to gain those shields. Not only does that make Doomfist this crazy DPS damage dealer with burst to one-shot potential with mobility, it also makes it so he's able to stay alive through all of it because he has 250 health and gets rewarded with all these shields too. And then if you add in a Brigitte and her armor and her rally and her stun, it just makes it for really difficult time to play against Doomfist. Now I do think Doomfist has a very high skill ceiling, and I think that it's really difficult to play him at this like really high level. Um, obviously if you're playing at a lower rank, you won't see Doomfist pull these things off, but a higher rank, it definitely seems like pro players can really just abuse these abilities to the maximum potential, and it really feels like there needs to be a nerf for Doomfist. It really does. Doomfist is one of those characters that makes it so you're not able to play the game, you just don't have control of your character, and you just get one shot, and it's almost impossible possible to punish him. Using a sleep dart as Anna is probably the best way to do it, but it's so difficult to land at it if he just uses his E to slam into you. And then if you get maybe a Brig, you can try to stun him, but even then, it can be pretty easy for the Doomfist to avoid the Brig completely and just focus on other targets, because he has just so much more mobility than a Brig. Overall, what I think this game really needs right now more than ever is for the new hero to actually be something more along the lines of Zarya, because Zarya right now has her bubble ability, which is basically an anti-CC. It makes it so a character that's getting bullied or stunned, you're able to bubble them, they're able to just get their control back of their character, it removes anti-nade, it cleanses them of all like debuff statuses, and it makes it so CC doesn't work against them, and it saves their life. I think a character like Zarya is so good for the game right now, and honestly, I think we need something like that. If the next hero comes out and it's not something that kind of diminishes the effect of stuns, or if we don't get some nerfs on all these stuns that are happening in the game right now, I think we're going to see a lot of people frustrated out there. I know I'm getting frustrated too. I haven't even talked about Mei yet. I do think Mei, she's just a big pain in the side trying to deal with someone that could freeze you to death, but at least Mei does have a little bit more work she has to put into in order to freeze you and then one shot you whereas doomfist he gets in there and gets that kill and gets out without you being able to even blink or react to it it's almost unpunishable unless you get an amazing sleep dart off on him or you have a brig player of your own he's literally just standing there waiting for a doomfist to dive on the back line so overall i think really the current state 
of Overwatch. It really requires a lot less stuns. I think we need to see a lot of nerfs to Doomfist and Brig especially. Um, the only reason I don't think Sombra needs to get nerfed right now is because Sombra, although it is unfortunate that you can't use your abilities, I do think that Sombra is really the only true counter to Doomfist. It's the only thing that really makes it so he can't use his abilities and one-shot and escape and engage. So having a Sombra is actually so essential against really good Doomfist players. I do think Sombra needs a nerf, but if Doomfist isn't getting nerfed and he's going to be remaining the same power that he is right now, then we need Sombra just to be able to counter the Doomfist. I think once these abilities get changed or these characters get a little bit weaker or there's a new character that kind of breaks that meta a little bit and we can bring back something uh, more healthy for the state of Overwatch which is back to more of a first person shooting game feel rather than having all these characters that do these crazy like punching abilities and knocking people around abilities. I think the game will be in a much better state for everybody. I think people will be able to play the characters that they want to play and it definitely feels like you get cheated out of a life whenever you're playing against Doomfist because there's almost nothing you could do about it. I think this game is amazing and I love it and I do think that it's a lot of fun, but I do feel like it needs a lot of nerfs to the stuns that are currently in the game. I'm really hoping that the new hero comes out and revealed at BlizzCon will somehow will change some things to make these characters have less of an impact, maybe something similar to a Zarya bubble that makes CC less effective or we could see some direct nerfs to the ability cooldowns on Doomfist or on Brig again I think would be good, or maybe even the damage potential of Doomfist would be good, maybe even make him slower. There are a lot of things that you could do, and I really feel like Blizzard should implement these because for what Doomfist can do right now, there's not a whole lot of ways to punish him other than using a Sombra yourself, and I feel like having a Sombra completely in the meta at the moment is also very frustrating. I don't think anybody enjoys being hacked, the amount of value that a player gets from hacking somebody is rather large at the higher level, at the higher ranks. At the lower ranks, maybe you won't see it, but at the higher ranks, a good Sombra just completely dominates the game. And I think that, at, especially at the Overwatch League scene, at the Pro scene, it's even more apparent, especially if you guys are out there watching the games like I do. Anyways, I know this was kind of more of a rant video on the current state of the meta and what I think needs to happen. I really do think these characters are a little bit too powerful, and I think for what they do, it's just too much value compared to how much work they have to actually put in. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, if you guys agree, what maybe you think could solve these things, what sort of nerfs they could roll out, or or maybe what a new hero could potentially do that could change this meta. And if you're a main tank or a support player out there, I feel your frustrations. I really do. Just try to stay strong and hopefully BlizzCon will really make some big changes soon to these characters. And we can go back to playing the game and controlling what our characters are actually able to do. Because I personally am a little tired of this meta and I am more than ready to have something new to happen. Anyways, guys, that's it for now, and I'll see you guys next time.